Hey everybody, so in today's video, I thought I would just do a little herd update for you guys. So here's Miss Dixie. Her eyes are 100% better now. And she is, her baby was weaned from her about a week and a half ago. So she was rebred because she only had one baby. And she is due the beginning of March, or middle of March, sorry. And here is a speck. He's doing good. He is actually bred to Clementine right now, so we should have babies <coughs> here in the middle of March. She's due actually a few days before Dixie is, but she's, yep, so she'll have some more babies for us here soon. And down here we just have Mr. Copper. All dirty. He was playing out in the snow, so. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's doing good, too. And over here we have Penelope. Um, she is due on March 5th. But she has been nesting since like three days after being bred, so I don't really know what that means. Every day she's nesting, so. And right here we just have Cookie and her little litter of four babies. This is Snickers. He will be staying here for the time being. This is Tigger. The little tri boy. Um, he is actually going to one of the big, bigger breeders here in Colorado. He'll be a part of Lamar's herd. Um, sorry. This little uh, Harlequin doe right here. Sorry, you're hard to see. She's going to another breeder here in Colorado. And this is Mocha. She'll be staying here. So those are her babies. About six weeks old. Excuse me, Cookie. Oh, jeez. What's your melon? Okay, well, those are her babies. And here's Miss Willow. We did have to shear her because she was... She had a really big mat on the back of her from when I got her, and I could not get it out. So, I ended up just shaving her, but she's so little without, with no hair. But I think she feels a lot better, so. And her two babies are inside. She started taking care of them by herself now. Which is really good, but, yep. And then I have nobody down here and nobody down there. And then we just have Mr. Poseidon. He's doing really well up here. Not aggressive anymore, that's for sure. And down here, <coughs> sorry guys, I have a cold, so sorry if my breathing sounds weird. It's just really hard to breathe and talk at the same time when you have a cold. So, this is uh, Mabel, my chocolate Harlequin window, if you guys don't already know. But she was due the other day. Ow, oh, it's my finger. And she didn't end up having babies. She is a bit overweight. So I'm thinking that's the reason why she isn't becoming pregnant. So we have been giving her tons and tons of exercise in hopes for a successful litter one day. <coughs> Down here we just have Baloo, our little tribuck. He has sired plenty of litters in here already, so he has he has cute babies. So he is the sire of Cookie's litter and Willow's litter inside. Hey buddy. And here's our Dutch doe, uh, Hazel. Had her for about five years. She isn't here at the moment because of how cold it is. Huh. She's super sweet. Her baby was weaned from her like three or four weeks ago. But she's, now she's just living the life. She will be put back outside because she doesn't really do well in these cages. Because, I mean, she. For a really long time, she was uh, free roam in the yard, so she doesn't really do well in these smaller cages. But yeah, so see, look, she's nesting. Every time I put hay in there, and this is what she does. So I did palpate her at 12 days. Her belly was kind of soft, and I just felt her belly the other day, and it's actually pretty hard. But I'm not 
um, great at pal painting, so hopefully, I don't know, we'll see, I mean, usually when I have false pregnancies, usually it lasts about a day of them nesting, but she's been nesting for like seven days straight now, so, <clears throat> yes, I know, you're really cute, don't know what you're doing now, she is red to Poseidon, because that's the only book that she would actually let do anything, she doesn't like copper, which is super sad, but, you know, stuff happens, but, yeah, so that's pretty much the herd update I have for you guys, I mean, not a lot going on right now, only have a few babies, no newborn babies yet, but we're hoping that Miss Penelope has some for us here soon, and she's already got her little doolap going on. What are you doing? Why are you sitting like that? Hey, Mocha. I'm super excited for this little girl. You have no idea. She's going to be so cute. But I'm going to show you this Dixie again. Her little baby actually just went to a new home a few days ago for a nine-year-old's birthday party. And he loved him. Of course he did. I was going to keep her baby if it was a girl. But sadly, it was not a girl. So, of course not. But, right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this herd update. I know it was kind of just random, but... All of the bunnies are doing wonderful. So, check back for our next, ne or for our next video. Hopefully I'll have something different to show you guys during that time, but talk to you guys later.